Hey crafty peeps, I'm Lisa, your dollar mom, and let's get right into today's DIYs. I was excited to find these wood shapes at Dollar Tree this year, so I picked up three of these and I painted them in Waverly Antique Wax, so you see that right here spared you from watching me okay so i originally was going to do this little um vinyl cut out here and put the vinyl down but it did not weed out very well because it was so intricate but the negative space did weed out great and so i decided i would make it a stencil this is one of those times where plan b actually worked out better than plan a so I'm just going to put it down just like I would normally put vinyl down, except in this case, I am just going to um, put paint into the stencil. So I'm going to use Rust-Oleum chalk paint in linen. And then I just used a sponge brush, but I cut a piece of it off because some of the sponge brushes come like super wide, like I'd never use it that wide. So I just cut off a little strip of it. So that way I could just pinch it in between my fingers and just pounce it into the stencil. So I'd have a lot of control when I did it. Now, um, Dollar Tree does have little sponge um, stencil brushes, which I would use, but I didn't have any. And so this also works. So again, you're just gonna see me um, pounce the paint down. You wanna go up and down, um, not rub it in because it could slide under the stencil. So I will uh, speed it up for you here real quick so you can see um, the full paint going down. It kind of looks like I'm rubbing it, but I'm not just because it's going so fast. And I was so pleasantly surprised with how clean the stencil looked. It is amazing. So I do think this is actually permanent vinyl, but vinyl uh, doesn't always stick really great to uh, antique wax. So it actually came off really easily. And you can see I'm just peeling here really slow. I don't know what I'm about to find underneath, but like I said, very pleasantly surprised with how clean um, this image came out. Okay, look how gorgeous that is. That looks so high end. Okay, so here's a vinyl where it messed up, or I messed up because I didn't put enough vinyl down on my mat and mismeasured. So I, I kept it and I'm glad I did because this little bunny uh, actually worked out perfect. Look at how perfect that fits down. So now this is gonna be another kind of negative image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the white um, chalk paint and I'm going to paint over the bunny and then I will peel the bunny up and then it will reveal the wood. So again, this is this project turned out way better than I even originally planned. I absolutely love it. There's so many options you can do. Now remember if you don't have a Cricut, I mean you can get stencils. Even Dollar Tree has some really neat um, patterned stencils that you could use. Um, you can also use stickers and paint over them like in this case if you had a bunny sticker it wouldn't matter you know what the sticker looked like. If it was bright pink it wouldn't matter because you're just painting over it. And then off screen, I do a third egg that looks a lot like the first egg, except it says Happy Easter. And since you've already seen me do a stencil, I didn't show you that third egg. But this one, you can see I just um, I went round the egg and made a really nice um, clean edge. And then now I can just peel that bunny up and reveal the wood bunny. Um, I just think... I, I'm just blown away by how good that stencil looks up above. Um, and then when I did the second one, it looked just as good. I'm taking this sign from Dollar Tree. I will rip off this paper and I will then flip it over. And you can see it kind of looks like it's three slats. Um, 
together and so I want I wanted it to look that way so I'm going to line up my metal ruler here and then just take my um, exacto knife and just do a little bit of scoring now this you might not see it up on screen as well but it just kind of gives it dimension kind of makes it look like there's three pieces of um, wood you know stacked together to make this shape um, Dollar Tree has just flat ones, uh, you know, the right rectangle ones that don't look like this. Um, this is just the one I grabbed, and I do kind of like that look. You could even kind of rub um, maybe some more a color to bring it out. Um, I kept it as is the color that is on the back of the board because I am keeping this super neutral, and I didn't think it needed any kind of paint. So as you see, I've aligned them up here. I take my ruler, find my center point. Um, I really like to have my things uh, measured and on, you know, uh, straight and the sides equal and match. Um, I just take some hot glue and glue these down. You see how cute the Happy Easter one turned out? Really, really cute. And glue these down. Now, another option you could do is you could put one of the tumbling tower blocks like on the back of the eggs and so they stand up and put them in a tear tray. That would look really cute too. Now I'm just taking a piece of twine. I'm gonna knot it a bunch of times and then glue it to the back of this. And the sign is done and ready to hang. And for this project, I'm going to take this little egg, um, like plant steak, and I'm going to peel the paper off. It did not come off real great, so I just sanded it down with my electric sander, just enough to get it smooth. And then I'm going to use some of this wallpaper um, from peel and stick wallpaper from Dollar Tree. Um, I have this stem here from Hobby Lobby, and I'm just kind of deciding which one it looks best on. Um, I actually really like this one, the wood one, but I am going to use, um, I'm going to put a vinyl saying, and I thought that one was too busy. So I went with the one that was the least busy that I thought the um, vinyl saying would show up on. Okay, so I'm going to cut this to size, um, just widthwise. And now this is a little technique I tried this time, and it worked amazing. So with this peel and stick, you can see just the top piece comes off. I will go ahead and stick that down. Now I will flip it over and I will draw the shape of the egg out and cut it. And this is gonna make it super easy to place this wallpaper piece down onto my egg. Okay, so while you watch me do that, I just wanna talk about that pick that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, I bought one. Um, and then I was just like, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. I love it, love it, love it. I made another project with it, I think two years ago. And so last year they were on clearance, so I bought a few more because they're so great. Okay, so I'm just going to sand the edges here and that's just gonna give me like a nice, smooth, clean edge. Now again, on this pick, if you can't find this at Hobby Lobby, um, you can just take some wire, make the shape of the ears, and then just wrap it in twine. That's that's all you gotta do. Add a little greenery leaf, and even those little cotton, um, I don't know if you call them flowers, little cotton <laughs> pieces, they sell those also at Dollar Tree. So you could, rec you could recreate this, um, and so I know it'll be a little bit more work, but um, hopefully you could um, find an easy way. I even think they have headbands at Dollar Tree um, that you could probably take uh, whatever fabric is on them and wrap that in twine. I bet that would work too. I could not get this cut for the life of me, <laughs> so I just bent it and glued it on the back. I don't know where the gluing uh, footage went to, but I think you can figure that out. Okay, so I went to Cricut and I cut this out. 
on the Cricut and I will put this down. Now, uh, you could just do words. You could just say happy Easter or happy spring or whatever. But when I was looking at spring images, I came across this one and I just thought it was so pretty that I wanted to use it on a project. So I'm using it here. But I think just simply the words happy Easter um, would look great too. And you can just use alphabet letters to do that. That's it for this project. It was really easy to make. Um, again, won't be quite as easy to make if you need to make that um, pick, but um, I hope that I gave you enough uh, options so that you could make it yourself if you needed to. For this project, I'm just going to use this um, music book I picked up from Goodwill, as well as this paper mache egg and that is from Michaels. I just tear up the sheets of the music there and I'm just going to Mod Podge it right down onto this egg. Now um, it, you could use a plastic egg that um, Dollar Tree has. This came in my Michaels grab bag from last Easter and so I'm going to use it up. Um, this video you're going to see me use um, quite a bit of products from my stash. I just have too much stuff and I really have to start using it. So I apologize if it's things that you may not be able to find, but I will keep trying to give you alternatives if you don't have this exact item. I'm sure Michaels has these this year. It's a pretty standard, um, you know, craft, I craft item. But again, you could just get the plastic ones from Dollar Tree uh, and any book paper if you want instead of music. Okay, this is what it looks like after I've put it all on. And then these are solo wood flowers that I picked up from Dollar Tree. For a short time, they had some of these and I was super excited because I had actually gotten some flowers previously from solo wood. So I will um, link their company down below. But again, I know you can get a similar flower at any of the... Um, hobby stores look in like the card making scrapbook section um, or the wedding section you should be able to find some flowers like this um, or you could just use really small silk flowers would look good too um, i know that dollar tree carries some smaller ones that might work so i'm just making kind of a I, would, I guess you would say like a J shape. I'm just kind of making them cascade down um, from the top down to the left. And that's all for this project. I think it is very classy, high end. It's going with the other um, decor pieces that I'm making today. And I just think it turned out really beautiful. Another idea, um, if you don't have music, is print out some music. Uh, print it on a piece of cream paper, not cardstock though, it's going to be easier if you have just regular paper, copy paper, or <clears throat> you can um, stain the paper too. And you could print lyrics to an actual Eastery type song. Okay, I picked these wreath forms up from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to use this ribbon again from my stash. Um, but Dollar Tree does make a very, very similar ribbon. This is what it looks like here. But I'm going to use, like I said, this one from my stash because I have a big roll of it. It is literally like eight years old. Uh, I was going to use it in my wedding. And then we decided to buy a house instead of have a wedding. So I had a lot of it left over. I've done many projects over the years with it. And so I am going to cover just the round part here on this bunny with this ribbon. And then off screen, I will also cover that egg wreath form with the same ribbon. And let me tell you, I had the exact amount, exact. Like I got to the end of the roll and it was right where I would have cut a piece to finish. I was like, that was so meant to be. I got two wreaths out of it. So you're going to see me go back and forth here between the bunny and the egg, and I apologize for that, but I kind of got inspired um, by the egg first after I wrapped it, and so I, would, I went with that one first. So again, easy peasy, just wrapping this ribbon around the round part of this form. Okay, for the ears, I have this kind of small um, 
burlap looking ribbon and this is what I'm gonna put around the ears now if you don't have a ribbon like this you could just use twine I would that would work too, like jute twine um, but this the big thick ribbon was would have been really difficult so you're gonna want either a skinny ribbon or jute twine okay like I said I'm jumping over to the egg now so I have um, some of this chicken wire this is true chicken wire uh, my brother-in-law was making something for a chicken coop or I don't know and he had some leftover and he asked if I wanted it and of course I did because I love farmhouse crafts so this came in handy so I have flipped the egg over okay so this we're now working on the back of the egg and you can see I'm just trimming the chicken wire to fit the back and I will say it trims super easy it just clips right off and um, and there you go it's easy to work with if you're afraid of poking your fingers you might want to put some maybe garden gloves on right here so you don't poke yourself I may have poked myself just a little bit but not enough where I would put gloves on but I do want to make sure you know that it does get pokey and you could potentially gut yourself now you can get chicken wire from a feed store um, I would imagine Home Depot or Lowe's would also carry it um, but that is like I said a gift that I got so I'm taking this ribbon here any ribbon will work um, and I'm just it doesn't really matter because it's going to be the backside but since I could make it match because I had this ribbon this is what I chose to use so this is how I'm going to here adhere it down I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm just going to put a bunch of hot glue down in small sections and then I will put the little piece of ribbon over the top so this is going to be good for two reasons one it's going to help hold the chicken wire down to the back of this form and it's going to cover the pokey parts so you won't be poking yourself so I'm just going to do that all the way around okay so now for the bow and in two videos ago I told you I would show you how to make a bow with this bow maker it is so easy so basically you have here three pegs the one in the center is of course your center and then your two sides that's how big your loop is going to be all you do is loop it around so I'm going to do a two um, bow a two loop bowl bow <laughs> so if you want three or four however full you want your bow you're just gonna keep going around the form here okay and then you cut your tails so however long you want your tails you can see here that is how you're gonna do it you pull it off of the bow maker there and you you squeeze the middle and you put your tie to the middle I used a zip tie they're the easiest way to do it but you get a little bulky piece in the back so if you don't like that I suggest you use a chenille stem or even just a piece of twine and then you fluff your bow out okay so now I've jumped back to the bunny I didn't show you um, me putting the chicken wire on the bunny because I did it the exact same way that I did on the egg and I'm just going to add this ribbon here and a little uh, one of the solo wood flowers and then this project's done I kept it pretty simple I wanted it to be very farmhousey and neutral and um, oh and if you're gonna ask me where that ribbons from it is from Hobby Lobby I do believe and I'm gonna check that yes it is from Hobby Lobby it's $4.99 it's in their regular ribbon section and I got it half off so it's a really good deal for $2.50 I've used it on a ton of projects um, I just really like the simplicity of it but again now the bunny is complete if you'd like to see another way I decorated that bunny wreath form I will link it above okay now on back over to the egg I'm going to decorate that one so I have this cute little bunny pick 
that came from Michaels and then I'm going to use this tag that came from Dollar General um, tags. I always buy a bunch of these from um, Dollar Tree at Christmas because they have them in like the ornaments and then I use them year round. But I got this one from uh, Dollar General because after Valentine's Day they were 25 cents so couldn't pass up that deal. Yes I did keep one as is because it's super cute, but I've been making over the other ones because I bought all of them that they had left, I mean 25 cents. Um, again, just kind of like some of the other projects today, I am leaving this the color that it is because I'm really trying to keep this neutral. I'm just gonna take off these beads because I don't want a white and red bead. Okay, so back to that little bunny pick. Very cute. If you can't find this at Michael's, um, I, you could make it with some felt or you know what else would look really cute is the wood bunny um, ornament shape from Dollar Tree. You could decorate that up, maybe put a cute little um, lacy bow or a jute bow on it and that would look cute as well. So I'm just going to take this now, this tag, and hang it into the middle of my egg wreath, glue it down with a bunch of hot glue, and then I'm going to add um, the bow to the top. Now this is going to be the same bow that you saw on the bunny. I just made two of them and I will add that um, there at the top. I went into my stash and I found one perfect little lacy type flower that I'm going to put into the center um, of this bow. So here's one of those, um, like I was saying, when you use the zip ties, you have that big chunk of plastic on the back and it does kind of make it difficult to glue it down. So again, I would use um, jute twine or a chenille stem. I just add that little flower and these wreaths are complete and I just absolutely adore them. If you saw my last video, you saw that I made this project. I made it so that I could take it out and make a different, you know, holiday or season. I actually just flipped this basket over so it still says spring garden on the back. And then now I'm making an Easter version. So this makes it real versatile. You could even peel this off if you're using removable vinyl. So you could just keep making this you know little basket over um, it is from Dollar Tree so if you haven't seen it yet it comes in a couple colors and I just um, picked up that Easter blessing uh, image from Cricut Design Space I took this cross from Dollar Tree and I covered it in Waverly antique wax and this time I'm just gonna use my own handwriting like I said, uh, vinyl doesn't take real well to um, antique wax. If you're going to use this as your method, you might need to cover it in Mod Podge um, or a different coat over the top so that it will take the vinyl. Um, but you could also use stickers. Um, here I'm just using a white paint pen and I'm writing, He is Risen with my white pen and I will link these pens below. Um, this particular one is from a set I just got. It is from Beager. I got it off Amazon. This is an acrylic paint pen so not chalk but it worked really well and it has a nice fine tip. Okay, now it's time to put this all together. I did go ahead and glue a skewer onto the back of the cross and then I'm just gonna put this little piece of styrofoam down in the bottom. Um, I'm not gonna glue it, you could glue it if you wanted. 
and then I'm going to put all of these green stems in. Now this isn't going to stand up on its own, but once I put the green stems in, it will. Um, as you can see, I bent the bottoms and that makes them a little bit sturdier and then they just sit inside this basket. It makes it super easy way to um, take them out and redecorate. Uh, of course, I got these stems in my Michael's grab bag. <laughs> Are you guys sick of me talking about Michael's grab bags yet? Um, I know many of you have questions and I will tell you that you need to follow the freebie guy. He will tell you when they come out. Most Michaels do, do them um, and they are so worth the money. They're so worth a drive. Even if, if you have one and it's like an hour away, it is worth the drive. <laughs> you just want to make sure they're actually doing it before you make that drive. But that's all I did for this and then this project's done and I can make it over for any other season or holiday. This is my favorite video I've done so far this year. I just love the neutral and farmhouse look. I hope you enjoyed these crafts as well and that you will like and subscribe and then until next time, happy crafting!